Last August, we showed you a huge hornet's nest being removed from a home in Wilkinsburg. A McKees Rocks based company wanted to give back to the community and did the dangerous job for free. While you see there, it didn't go as planned. The nest came crashing down. They still got it done and removed the unwanted neighbors. The bee removal company got lots of calls after that story aired, and now that spring has sprung, they're hearing about honeybees becoming a nuisance. They're stepping up again to help a homeowner having trouble finding someone to remove a large hive occupying her home in a strange place you have to see to believe. These honeybees got too comfortable at this house and homestead. The woman who lives here didn't know the pollinator said, honey, I'm home, and built a hive in her wall. So the hive goes all the way up to the top and extends all the way down to here. We could hear the walls buzzing and feel warm spots. Wow, yep, that's crazy. Owners of Honeybee Blues, Joe Kellums and Dewan Johnson suited up, <laughs> covered their scent with smoke. It also helps cover up the pheromone that the bees give. And got to work free of charge. Judging by that, it's gonna be a big hive. Kellums used a saw to open the wall. They uncovered an impressive hive with thousands of busy bees that overstayed their welcome. I would say four to five feet high. It's probably about 12 inches wide. It's probably the third biggest one we've done. Probably say they've probably been in there for over two years. They also discovered a colony of ants enjoying unlimited honey. So that's a big reason why doing the removal is, is key is because you want to get the honey out of the wall or it attracts the ants or rodents or anything like that. The homeowner tells me she didn't want the honeybees to be killed. She just wanted to evict them. We always try to, to save them and, and put them in the box and take them back to our apiary. And we try to keep it so that they have the best chance of survivability. It's that time of year when bees are more active, growing their colonies and swarming. Kellum says don't reach for the spray. And they take off with the original queen and they'll find somewhere to rest. And that's a lot of times when people find them and they're in a ball, usually in a bush or a tree. Uh, I've seen them on the side of houses. So the swarms, what I would definitely say to people is don't be afraid. It is completely normal and call a beekeeper. This job took them several hours. <laughs> Kellum says they didn't find the queen, but they safely relocated the bees and honeycomb. The homeowner is buzzing with joy. Her honey making tenants are finally gone. I always try to help the customers out, especially when they're not able to afford it elderly or if down on their luck. It's just crazy to see how many bees were in her wall. You can look for Honeybee Blues on social media. They post videos of jobs just like this one, and they can also help if you have any bee-related questions. You should call a professional even if you have a nest with the mean bees like hornets or yellow jackets. Honeybee Blues has a vendorship with an immunotherapy company, so those insects go to a good cause instead of being sprayed and killed.